Welcome back, my name is Nightmare and today we are going for the DLC, but first of all, see who's here. Talk to her. Now she should be heading towards her father, which should be down in the Ash Lake, if I'm not mistaken. But first of all, doing all this playing, I kind of forgot two sets of armor you can easily get. One is after you kill three times Dark uh, Spirit, the Dark Spirit of Night Kirk. If you kill him three times, one in the depths, second one in the Demon Ruins, and the third time in the Lost Isolith. You then want to go to the Daughter of Chaos real quick, and now that you have the Lord Vessel, should be no problem. And back here should be the Armor of Thorns. There we go. And now the other one is in the forest, where we're heading anyway. But first of all, we're gonna check Stone Dragon. Down in the Ash Lake if we progress the quest far enough now. I think we should. So we can get our hard-earned Titanite slab. So we have to run towards the first bonfire, which is a bit of a pain, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So you might want to kill the two, uh, the three uh, seashell monsters down here, just to for another chance at twinkling titanite and some purging stones, because you can never have enough purging stones. Because you need purging stones when you get cursed, and usually when you get cursed you don't have any, and then you have to do quite the detour to actually get the curse off of you, which means you have to go where we fought the gargoyle demons the first time and talk to Oswald of Kareem, the priest dude with the weird uh, pose that he does while standing there and the creepy laugh. Now let's continue on. And then we're heading into the forest. And towards the DLC. And what does the DLC do? Well, the DLC teleports us back in time. Which is quite nice. And there we're gonna explore why the fight against Sif is such a sad story. And nothing. Continue over the beach of death. Just to the first bonfire. You know where it is. You probably hate it as much as I do. And I really hope she is down there now. She should be. Nope, she's not. Why isn't she? Well, no idea. Let's head to Firelink Shrine again, see if she's still there. She is. Okay. My father, 
Okay. Well, now we have to walk down there again, but we're gonna do this faster now. Gonna switch to the light stuff. We have to warp back down there. Unfortunately, you cannot access the first bonfire directly where she would be now. You have to come from this direction, which is all the way on the other side, unfortunately. But now she should be down here with her father. And then we get our Titanite Slam. Then, without further interruptions, we're going to tackle the DLC. So we're not gonna kill the seashell monsters now, just run past them. Now I wonder why there's no PvP in this area. I would like to do some PvP here. It's nice and open, you can see quite a lot. You don't get ambushed easily, unless you're like in, in the second tree here, trying to get that miracle. But other than that, you have good field of view about the whole area. Probably because of that, they're not allowing PvP here. that thing will follow us all the way, then we might have to kill it. I hope not. I think it's retreating. And there they are. There's our Titanite slab. And there we go. That's the end of Sigmar. Now I'm gonna teleport directly to Undead Parish from here, because we need to get into the forest. I'm gonna talk to Andre real quick. He should be able to reinforce our a certain weapon now further. Actually modify. Uchi Katana to six, yes. Upgrade that some more. Then modify plus eleven, yes. There we go. Where's it with it? Let's see if we can bring it up to fifteen now. That would be awesome. Yes, we can. I'm gonna bring the washing pole. Also up. I 
actually. What's the difference? Well, I'm not gonna do that. Give, yeah, I'm gonna give him his embers real quick. Let's see if you can use some other embers. With the dark ember, which he can use to make the occult weapons. Okay, now he can't use the other embers that we have, which should be the the crystal, the large flame, and the enchanted ember. So they, we have the other three blacksmith. And we're already ten minutes into. Okay, we're not heading into the DLC. We're gonna distribute the um, our oh, come on our embers. So, Chamber of the Princess is the next. And to speed this up a little bit, equip our Homeward Bones. So once we delivered it, we can just pour it back. To the last bonfire we rested at. And now I said we were going into the <laughs> DLC, but I just wanted to make uh, sure that we are prepared, like doing everything before the final boss once we finish with the DLC. Because before the final boss, you might want to take the time to increase all the weapons and armor that you want to use for the next playthrough like what I did with the other katana bring it up to plus 15 and then the other one which I might make into a raw weapon and stuff like that give him the crystal ember now he m makes the weapon and he he is the guy you need for like all the um, special uh, weapons with special we special weapons and shields for the souls of bosses like great shield of Atorius which we use the soul of Sif soul of the moonlight moonlight butterfly which gives us crystal ring shield and so on okay and use the homeward bone which should bring us back to under parish yes and from here we are going to head down towards Anor New Londo Ruins, which we just run out and then run over to the elevators and then head down. Next flame. Oh, I. God damn it. I'm missing so much stuff. Okay. Before we actually go into the catacombs again, we need to head into towards the demon ruins. And why is that? Well, because we forgot one ember. A special one. The Chaos Ember. But we couldn't get it before because we didn't have the special ring from the Centipede Demon. But now we do. And we can get that as soon as we deliver this ember. Well, there's quite a bit of backtracking now that we have to do, but then again, 
it is really helpful if you, before you kill Gwyn, you upgrade all your weapons that you want and all the armor. Because as soon as you kill Gwyn, all the embers are going to be gone from the blacksmith and you have to reacquire re them. So let's just do this real quick. And this is, I'm going to call it the preparation video, pretty much. Which is quite fitting, actually. I'll give him the enchanted ember. Now we should only have one ember left. Yes, the large flame ember. Use another homeward bone. So now we're heading into uh, the demon ruins. Which we use from the Daughter of Chaos. And then head towards where the tons of Taurus demons are. And for that we're gonna actually equip that one ring directly. We're not fighting <laughs> those demons. I think we can manage without. Just grabbing the two items that are down in the lava. We also might horribly die if we just try to run there, but I want to make this as fast as possible. So let's see how good my evasion skills are. There's quite a lot of them. Eat that so we have faster regeneration. Well, this might go horribly wrong. I um, think I'm pretty much dead. Yes! <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a horrible, horrible idea. And we didn't even get one item. Oh well. Trying to show off, and what does it do? It gets you killed. Let's get human. And head back down. That was just... I should have known better. Like with this armor, I can't take miss. You see, he hit me once and like it's three thirds of my health were gone. So yeah, trying to rush stuff. What does it do? It gets you killed. So we're going to switch back to our Zweihänder. And that should actually be enough. Let me just make sure that we pull these guys one at a time. A bit higher. And we got his attention. Yeah, 
since we stun them, we can just three hit them. And then just kill them like that. Takes a bit. We just wait. Come on, swing. Then getting close. What? Stepping on me? Bastard. So it's four more. Okay, no, he didn't get stunned. But the important thing about the whole stunning is you have to wait till he goes back into his normal stance and then hit him again. You don't want to hit him earlier because then he will not be stunned and might counter your attack. There we go. Notice me. You might be able to see it back there already, the two items. And now we just can... we can just go for the last one, don't have to pull them with the arrows. But before you walk across the level, make sure you have the foot icon, the boot icon, so that you don't die while trying to get up here. You know, this is just a soul, and the other one is the one, and like that, you can get without the ring, which is quite possible. This item here. You might be, if you come from this side and you are really fast. And you, you roll, you grab that. Possible, unlikely. So let's return to the bonfire and then we head from here into... Can we actually... Two of giants, if we. Which is. Is this the first or the second bonfire? Let's try it. I think that should be the second, actually. If I'm not mistaken. It's really dark, so we need to equip our sunlight maggot. Actually, this is the first bonfire, which is good. We can get quickly to the blacksmith in time
just head up. Head up some more, then go up here, which brings us back to Pinwheel's place. Don't jump into his <laughs> tomb, go to the right, and up here through this cave. But remember, we're gonna have to face the pinwheel guys, so actually let's try something. Uh, we made our strong Uchi Katana plus 15. So let's see how it fares. That should be the first. Three hundred damage with one swing. Let's go. Quite nice. Let's pull these guys. It's probably coming. My two ended sword I just need one hit, but then again this is much faster. And there's the last one. Alright, we're good in time. Give him the first ember and then... And the Chaos Flame. Now he can make your weapons, chaos weapons or fire, whatever you desire. So let's go back. We should go to Undead Parish again. Yes, there we go. Very nice. So let's equip our normal stuff. That works. One more thing to check. I want to see if I can upgrade some stuff. Some armor. Well. Reinforce armor. Only have one Titanite chunk. That's bad. And I can't buy these. So I would have to farm them, which is unfortunate, but whatever. So we head back up and then we're gonna stop the video here. And then, as promised, heading into the DLC. So, if you liked what you've seen in this preparation video for New Game Plus, please subscribe and then 
I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.